Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my Minecraft 1.7.10 series uh, plus and the last couple of episodes we went to go visit the elves and the dwarves out west um, and we had talked about putting together a um, greenhouse because we want to be able to do um, some farming here. So that's what we're going to work on today is the greenhouse right after perhaps oh, we can't do berry pies just yet. So um, we just don't have the resources right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to clear out this area right here, flatten out this land, and we're going to put our greenhouse like right in here, I think. Um, I thought about maybe putting it on this side a little bit, but that's really going, I have to fill in a lot over there to be able to do that. So we're just going to do that. Now, I, I did a couple of quests and I gathered a bunch of resources between episodes here. So I finished off uh, three quests, which we're going to go deliver later on today. It's these three here. Um, and I grabbed uh, a bunch of resources. We've got uh, a lot more coal now, uh, mostly in here we can find stuff. So clay, we've got sand to make glass with, so we're going to make some glass because we're going to need a lot of it. Um, and let's get eight of these out. So let's do that first before we forget and not have what we need later on. So let's have that going. And we one of the big things we are going to need is wood. Um, we might use chestnut wood for the uh, thing because we have a lot of it here um, Or we might use aspen like we did with the house, but I think since we got our house in aspen we probably want to have our um, Our uh, greenhouse in a different color. So what I'm planning on doing is um, Having it on the one level here and then have it kind of like a peak roof but also with glass on both sides. And I'll show you what that's going to look like in a minute. So what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, just clear up this area here. I'm going to basically cut this down, clear all this off, and make it nice and flat. And I'll be back in a second when it's, I've got that done. All right, flattening out in the rain here. We managed to uh, get this all flattened out here a little bit. We may have to cut it back a little bit more, but now what we want to do is start uh, putting our boundaries down where we want our greenhouse to be. Now we're going to need a fair bit of size in here to grow some crops. So um, I think we're going to want to stick with bread. So we're going to be growing some wheat in there. Um, so let's get our wood out here. I think what we want to do, I think we need the hopping, Hobbit crafting table for this. Do we, or do we know? I think we can just use it, just do it straight up here. So that is, that's bark. Uh, what is there's a way to do posts. Hmm. Is it a regular workbench? I'm trying to remember now how to do... Uh, yeah, there we go. So these are like uh, chestnut wood beams. So we're going to use like wood beams, I think, to do the sides and stuff out of. So that's 33. Let's grab a couple more here. I have 36. I don't know how many we're going to need, but we're going to take these for now. I'm going to go out and start laying down our sort of rough uh, area here. Now let's... Maybe try and match it up to our house a little bit. So let's just drop a couple of these wood beams down uh, just so we can figure out what our dimensions are going to be here. So along here, looks like maybe there. Yep, so that's pretty wide. It leaves a bit of a space between here. Uh, let's go down here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 1. So let's do that. And then how wide are we here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 1. Yeah, so that's a 17 by 17. So that's going to be pretty good, I think. And then what we can do is we can uh, maybe build a little bit more out on this side, a little bit more over here on this side once we get the main body of this uh, thing done. Of the greenhouse. So what we want to do is have a greenhouse entrance way. So I'm thinking, I was going to put it in the center. I think I'm going to offset it a little bit to give it a little bit of, um, so we'll put the door right there, I think. Uh, maybe that's too far over. Let's see here. We want to have it too wide, so maybe just leave just something like that. So that'll be the doorway in, but let's pull it out one. Let's pull it out one, just so it's not complete. Wait a minute. What the heck? Are we off here? We're off. That guy's off by one. So let's fix that. There we go. So now we should be on 17 by 17. Perfect. Okay, we want to be out one, so that's going to stay like that. Double door. 
Now we're going to go up a couple here. Um, let's just build up three. I'm going to go around and put these up by three and lay out some more foundation and I will be back in a second. All right, welcome back. So we got our posts up. So these taller ones here on both sides, we're going to run a post across the top there. And then this is going to be angled up and then angled down on that side. So we only need three on the sides. That might be a little high, but we'll leave it for now. I made the doorway up four. Uh, we're going to probably make it a two by three high door. So it'll be a big door um, so we can get in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where our internal pathways will be. So we can figure out where all our crops are going to go. All our bushes, what I want to do with them is put them along the outside of this. Uh, either that or we might have another little section over here. Like I said, we were going to extend this out a little bit maybe. There might be a secondary greenhouse in here where we might put some of these in. I'm not sure. We need some space. So uh, as you can see, they're taking up a fair bit of space. And I don't think they can be right next to each other. So I'm having them kind of in rows right now. But maybe we'll put them along the sides of the buildings. Just, you know on the outside so we can just walk around and pick them up so yeah let's do that for now so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on finding out what this person wants maybe maybe we have a quick quest here berry pie nope can't do that sorry buddy okay so let's work on how we're gonna have the outside look we're gonna need lots of glass and I'm thinking we might choose different glass than this uh, I'll have to figure out um, in the workbench which kind of glass we can make that's basically the typical hobbit glass we can have different colors and stuff too i want to have it kind of as transparent as possible but i'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to angle kind of the roof down right so there'll be a slope that goes up to the center um so maybe the, the like a slope kind of starts here and goes down and then kind of continues up here to a flat roof where it'll all be glass and then it'll continue down on this side so it'll be sloped uh and the same thing on um, like from there like all the way along here so the the roof will be flat there'll be glass all through the roof there'll be a post that goes across here as the main beam um, so that I think is my goal so now what we need to do is work on the walkway now I have some gravel let's grab the gravel let's see how our okay this glass is done we're gonna need a lot more glass I think um, pretty ambitious with this project I want to not use up all my sand but let's I know we're gonna probably need at least two stacks so let's get a second stack of sand going here and then let's grab some gravel which I know we've got lots of let's grab a stack of 48 we don't need that much I don't think so that's gonna be our our pathway let's take our chestnut wood with us because we're gonna need that and we'll, we'll build a workbench out here what's up buddy okay so pathway through here um, let's just do this to start and we're going to put our gravel down and then as we're on the inside let's just go in a bit like this and now we i don't think i want to do it kind of straight through here i want to kind of kind of wind a little bit so one two three three so i think we can go along here now doing it too wide just to kind of give it a bit of breathing space do that I'm gonna need more gravel i think Tons of under, tons of it underground, so we can easily get more if we need it. So, what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and maybe we go. Hmm, that's five. So that, that's I think that's probably fine. One, two, three, five. Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll go along here. Something like that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's seven along here. And we got, what do we got here now? One, two, three, four, five. And then maybe we just have it kind of turn back. Yeah, let's turn it back in this way a little bit. And we're out. So let's go get the rest of the gravel. I knew I should have brought the bigger stack. And let's grab that. There we go. Okay, so let's finish up this walkway. So that's, we got three here, four, five. And then we'll have this go along here. And 
and that's what three and then we'll have this go this way and maybe we put another door over here okay so let's go one more out so if we put a door here we have the room to do that uh, and maybe it's an entrance way into another part of the building over here so let's see if this hobbit there's so many hobbits I just don't remember what they all look like or you want collect plates plates are iron and I don't want to waste my iron just yet so that's kind of a waste for me okay so uh, so that's all done so now we need to get some water we need to figure out where our irrigation is going to go so I think my water bucket is in here yeah, wrong one it's in here yes okay so I am going to figure out outside here where uh, we want to have our irrigation so if we're going to do a five by five here in the corner like we'll grow certain crops in certain spots so this will be a five by five here so that's five and then one two is that going to work out did I miscalculate again? One. This is off. This guy's off. So then this one should be off, but it's not. Did I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is out. Well, what do you know? Isn't that a fine? How do you do? There you go. Okay, so I miscalculated here. So we're going to need to... So this is going to be wall. So there's three here. Right? Three, six. So this three... So right here can be irrigation. And that'll cover one, two, three to here. Right? So that's all covered by that one. Then we're going to have one, two. So if I put one here... We'll cover all the way up to here, and then we go one, two, three, one. So let's put another one here. So irrigation, irrigation, that's going to cover all of this side. Hmm. Think about this for a second here. All right, I'm going to go off camera for a minute, figure out how this needs to be laid out, and I'll be right back. All right, so now we've got our irrigation in place it's not a hundred percent perfect but it's pretty good uh, overall everything should be irrigated it's relatively well balanced um, so it's all laid out here we don't have to do too much so let's go now I think what I want to do is I'm gonna grab some regular chestnut wood here and I want to start laying down kind of the framing of the outer walls here so we're gonna do this and just lay a base down around the outside where I want everything to be. Now this is probably going to be, let's do this, another, like we're probably going to be putting a doorway here, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to go around the outside. Now everything else will be glass. I was thinking about having it glass all the way to the ground, but um, I don't think it really makes that much difference. So we're just going to do this all the way around. Oh, we're running a little short here. That should give us enough. And we'll do this bit over here. So that's this. Okay, so now we can work on a little bit on the angle. So I want to, like, I have to be careful how we're going to do this with the angles because we need to have the glass all here too, right? So I'm going to go and make, unless I've already made some, some... Did I do don't think I did any um... no I haven't built any yet here oh yeah I did a bit carpenters blocks gonna need a bunch of these guys and we're gonna need gate gears for sure to make some doors so let's put those out I think maybe we have red doors on this one I think since that's gonna be the greenhouse I think green doors probably are in order so do we have cactus for green dye here or green flowers don't think we have any of that yet. It's got to be another way to get green. Anyway, let me build some of these um, carpenter's blocks and I'll come back and then 
we can figure out how we're going to laying the re uh, finish laying the, uh, the rest of this out. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so we're back. So I got a bunch of carpenter's blocks. I couldn't get green, unfortunately, the color green. So, because we don't have cactus or anything yet, so we're going to have to go with yellow hobbit gates for now. And that's fine. I think we're okay. So now we just need to decide how we want to lay these out. So do we want to go more along this line where we do this? kind of thing right and then we have the roof kind of go up to a flat piece up here I think maybe that's what we're gonna do I think that's probably the best bet at this point because that kind of looks nice and we're not gonna be walking under here at all anyway right so I'm thinking that's probably what I'm gonna do and we're gonna go out an extra one so it kind of covers us up a little bit up over here. So let's do this. Let's just see how this is going to look here in a second. So we want to go here and here. And then we want to go here and here. And up here. Right? And then go here and here. Nope. Yep, yeah, there we go. And there and not like that though. And there. Okay, so that'll be how we're going to do it. I'm thinking probably what we're going to use is maybe the apple wood. I want to have a nice little contrast on this, and I'm not sure how to get that. Okay, this is all light up here, so maybe we take out the darker wood down here. So let's pull these out of here for a second. Let's grab some chestnut wood and maybe we make the upper part a little darker. I think that'll probably give us a better accent, so let's do that. So I'm going to make these this color and then we'll come under here and we'll get the bottom parts. There we go. So yeah, and then the bottom around the edge here will change that color to be a slightly different tone than what we got here, I think. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to need to have this extend a little more up here. Like that. And I want to keep this, the sides completely open because this is a greenhouse after all. So we want to have as much of it open, I think, as possible. So that'll be, I think, this will be where the roof is up here. So we'll end the slope here. So that can go on there and there and there. And then here and here. And that'll be the roof. Let's just add these on here. Yeah, I think that might look nice. So well, that'll be the roof along here. The beam will come, will come out slightly. I think we're a little bit too close to our house, but I think that's fine. I'm not that worried about it. Um, after all, this is just going to be um, for farming and stuff. So, so we're going to add our door in. I'm thinking that's kind of too small a door. That size door is probably better. Oops. Yeah, it's weird how it's not opening and closing properly, but there we go. That's going to be our door. Oh, Malice the Rivendell Wanderer has arrived nearby. Now, as much as I'd like to go talk to him, since we don't have any rep in Rivendell yet, there's no point because he won't trade with us unless we do have rep in Rivendell. So that's that. We're going to add a slope here, a slope on this side, over there, and then we're, once, I, like, once again, this will be a flat roof up here with a lot of glass in it. So I'm going to come back once I got all the slopes up and running. And once that's done, then we can work on getting the glass in. I'm not really sure which glass we're going to use yet, uh, what style we're going to use, but um, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes and then we can um, get the glass in. Alright, so before the sun goes down we lose the light, I just want to show you kind of roughly where I'm going with this. So there's the sides there. I haven't got the, um, we haven't got the uh, glass in yet, but at least you have an idea now where I'm going to kind of go with this. So it's going to kind of look kind of cool, I think. Uh, the roof will end right here. So this will be where the roof is. We'll put a little bit. Of, we'll put um, some boarding up around the outside, and then it'll just all be glass inside here. We may have to put a post in the center, I think, 
in order to make the beam believable that goes across here. But that's kind of the direction we're going here. It's going to take a little while longer to get this done. It's, it's um, taking quite a bit of time to uh, finish up what I was hoping to finish here. But um, yeah, I'm going to need a lot more wood too. So we're going to get on that and finish this up. And then um, we'll uh, maybe do a little bit of adventuring or something before the end of the episode. So uh, I'll be back shortly once I get this completely um, wooded in here. And then we can just do the glass. All right, I'm kind of waiting for some more... Um, chestnut wood trees to grow here. There's a bunch of them planted, but we're running short on chestnut wood. So I decided to put some of the glass in just to see how it will work. I don't think this is kind of perfect. It's kind of making this this building look really modern looking, but for now I think this is the route we're going to go. Uh, I like the glass. Um, I just don't think it's right for Middle Earth, but you know, I've already started on it, so I'm going to keep going along this route. But what I had to do is I had to dig down here uh, in order to get it to work. Just because um, I really needed to have this full sort of light coming in here. It's nice to be able to see straight through. Uh, I was concerned that that wasn't going to work originally, so and it didn't. So we just kind of sort of fixed that. Now we're using willow wood here for the base that's where the water or that's where the um, glass will come down to and meet the ground so we're going to take this out uh, and I think we might be really short in glass because this is going to add a, a whole nother layer to the level of glass that one area over there had uh, 21 pieces of glass in it right there so that'll be another 21 that'll probably be another I don't know how many so um, we're gonna need a fair bit of glass this is definitely gonna be more than 21 here but I'm thinking we're gonna add a um, a layer of wood in here like we've done here just so that to minimize the amount of glass we have to use because finding sand and going in the water and digging it all up is just a pain in the butt so I'm probably not gonna do that Let's get this base part at least done and finished along here. Now we need to still run the beam along the top, which is another thing we need to do. Let's just do this. That's the one thing I have to say about the Middle Earth mod. The um, Actually, we don't need to do that all the way over there. The, uh, the number... Of different types of wood here and where you can find them is incredible so you can make your house look really really good if you spend some time searching the different areas to find the wood that you need to make it look nice so I mean it is there if you go looking for it so let's do this because that's gonna be glass and this will be wood this I'm gonna take out probably I haven't decided what I want to do with this yet I want to be able to see this Hmm. What if we take this out? Like this. Let's take this piece of wood out. I don't want to waste wood unless I have to. Something like that. And then we put, let's put our chisel away. We make this like that. And then one, two, three, and same here. Something like that, I think. This is just going to save a bit of glass, I think, if we do it this way. Take this out. Yeah, we're going to be saving a whole bunch of glass. So I think we'll probably have enough then. Maybe. Oops. Definitely needed that back in there. Okay, so that's that. And let's get this done across here. So that's only six. So it's only going to be 18 per area. So it's three areas per stack. So I think we'll be pretty close. One, two, three. These are a bit bigger. Yeah, I think we'll be pretty close. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Once I get all this done along here, I will come back and put in the glass. So I'll be back in a second here. All right, so let's stop, start dropping this glass in here. Um, we should be very, very close to having enough. Don't know if we'll exactly have enough, but we'll be pretty darn close. Actually, let's do the farthest parts first here. 
get along here. So it's only five. Ah, I'm gonna lose one here. Um, okay, let's get this done, and then we'll do this side. So yeah, I miscalculated somewhere in here. The math isn't quite right, but we're committed now, so that's what we're doing. All right, so that's that bit there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is probably going to be a post and a post for the door. And then we've got these couple of areas left, so I think we're going to have enough. Have a whole part of a stack. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay. So these um, blocks here, you got to be careful because they'll take different facings. So just because you put these down doesn't mean... Um, that's all that's going to be like once you've put these block bricks in you can put different facings on them so they have different facings which is kind of cool uh, but you got to watch because if you're putting stuff on like this glass you want to make sure that you don't touch them because if you do then you'll be adding a piece of glass to them okay so we got I'm just enough left here six it's just need eight oh shoot I did it again see so you can put different facings on these so if you have different types of wood and you and you got a corner piece, you can have different types of uh, corners. So let's get these back in here. And uh, this back on there. And let's get our glass. We got it looks like we got a hobbit, a couple of hobbits stuck in here. But they will disappear and despawn, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so there's our glass for now. Um, we're going to need a whole new roof piece, but I don't think we're going to use the same type of glass. We'll use something different for the roof. Um, but for now, that's that. So let's get back inside. I really have to wait till some wood, some more trees grow here because we really need um, chestnut wood. So I'll come back when I've got more wood. Um, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to irrigate the entire inside there so that's ready to go. Um, yeah, and then I'll come back when I've got the wood that we need to finish this place up. So I got tired of waiting for the chestnut trees to grow, so I just decided to head north here. Kind of complete these uh, quests that I got for the hobbits. Just finish these guys up real quick. There's only like three quests here. There's two people in the inn here, and then there's one person over in the uh, um, orchard. So we'll head over there in a second too. Let's just go in here. Oh, there's lots of quests in here now. Look at this. Uh, so let's finish the quests with uh, these guys first. So that's 13 coins. Nice. Thir what did we get for... Uh, we didn't get a lot for uh, rep on that, but that's fine. Uh, what do you want? Cherries. We can do cherries because we have them back home. Cherry pie. We don't really have the materials for yet. Oh, you get, here's the other person. Another eight. That's not bad. We'll take the eight. And where are the quest givers here? Here we go. Two buckets. Yeah, we can do two buckets. Sure, why not? What do you want? Uh, apple crumble. No, we don't quite have enough to make pies and stuff yet. Um, and you, I think, you were the uh, cherry pie person. Yeah. So we got two more quests here. There's a hobbit sheriff. You can hire um, sheriffs and stuff. But we're not going to bother yet. Requires... Uh, 1500 alignment which uh, we're not anywhere close to yet so we got another person over there which we have to return a quest to so let's head over there a little bit of a lag spike there all right some burrow hat cow because why not all right so she the next person's in the orchard now let's see if we can get I think there's a cherry tree in this orchard is there not yeah it looks like there might be so maybe we can get the cherries in the, from the cherry tree over here. All right, so here's the... Uh, these guys are from Dale. I can trade with these guys, but they don't really have anything. Yeah, they don't really have anything I want here. I got vodka. Yeah, no thanks. Dalish sword, six and a half damage. Eh. Uh, dull Dalish battle axe, minus five melee damage, but it's really slow melee speed, so we don't really want that. And there's our cherry tree. So let's turn this quest in first. And then we'll chop the cherry tree down. Look at that, 18. Oh, what do we get here? A riddle. Okay, we're going to save that, I think, for another episode. But we'll have a read of that book at some point. 
see if it's inter interesting or not. So we need to get two buckets, which we can't do right now, but we can chop this cherry tree down. We need four cherries. And we'll be very, very nice and replant it. And you're going to walk right in front of me, aren't you, you turkey? He knew it. He knew I was stealing cherries from their orchard. There's two. There's enough. Cool. We got enough to uh, turn that quest in, too. And we'll plant. You know what? We'll plant one more. How's that? They're going to get rich off that. Okay. So, can't do the buckets because we don't have any iron on us. But that's all right. We can do that another time. I can always cancel that quest too. We don't actually have to do the quest. You can cancel it. But we got tons of iron right now, so you know, doing that quest isn't that hard. We can come back up here at some point too. The uh, person behind the counter doesn't really have all that much. Are you the cherry guy? You're not the cherry guy. So she doesn't have a lot. She'll take uh, four leaf clovers for 39. We can get a better deal elsewhere. And pipeweed leaf. So once we start growing pipe pipeweed, we can sell it to the hobbits up here and you can make some good coin if you're making enough of it. Now where's our... over here? You are over here! You want the cherries, don't you? There you go. Seven more. Not bad. So we're over 100. That's okay. And that was just a couple of quick little quests that we can do real quick. Hobbit quests are nice and easy. It's always food mostly uh, and oftentimes drink as well. So yeah. So I'm heading back home. I'm going to chop a few um, trees as I go back here I think. Um, a few chestnut trees because we do need uh, still a little bit of chestnut wood and this should probably do it for us. This is a nice big tree. So we'll hack this guy down. Um, and when we go back, we have to put up, we got to finish off putting our second door in. I've laid, I put the door in, it just doesn't have the frame around it or anything. So we can do that. Uh, we've got a lot of wood up here in the tree. Let's grab this stuff. All right, so I'm going to head back home. And when I get there, um, we can finish up that project we were working on. And it's nice to know that this is here. We can head down there at some point. All right, so we'll be back in a second. All right, so we're seriously short in glass here. Got enough wood, but not anywhere near enough glass. We're probably going to need another two and a half stacks of sand. So I am going to go and find that so we can finish this sucker off this episode. Um, I don't think we're going to move our um, bushes right, no, right away. We'll move these a little later. I don't think they're going to look good in front of the... Uh, greenhouse so we'll probably not include them over there um, so I'm gonna leave a bunch of stuff here and I'm gonna head off and grab some sand and when I come back we'll finish up that uh, greenhouse all right we're back home I got a bunch of sand it's cooking up right now found a hobbit out here that's just wants plums so we were able to do that quest and get that finished and I collected all of my uh, fruit trees here or most of them anyway so now I can go back in here and just drop off this extra fruit and stuff we picked up. Different types of wood as well. Just drop all these in here. Okay, cool. So we've got some seeds we want to plant. Now the pipeweed, all we need to do is just drop it in here and we get we get pipeweed seeds. So we've got 32. And flax is the same way. Drop it in. We've got 32 flax. Got four, uh, five ender lily, nine cotton. We've only got six regular seeds, but we don't really need that much, I don't think. So our glass, let's just pull this out. And let's do a stack of 64 to start. And we're going to go up on the roof, finish up the roof real quick. We want to make sure the building is completely encased. The hobbits won't go inside through the door, um, but they will fall in from the roof. And rabbits will fall in from the roof too, I think. So especially if there's crops down there. So we don't want to give them access to the crops, so we close the whole thing off. So let's just finish this up real quick. I don't think we have quite all the glass we need on us right now, but we're pretty darn close. Not really thrilled with the uh, glass here on the roof, but once again, it'll do. We're not really looking up, we're not really going up on the roof, so it's not such a big deal. Okay, let's get the rest of this 26 going. Pretty close right now. I don't want to make more of this glass than I absolutely have to right now. Uh, what do we got here? 11 left. Pretty close. So we need five more. So I got two stacks, well I got three and a bit stacks of sand. 
but I cooked up two stacks. So that should give us enough here. There we go. I just did that, didn't I? Let's do this. There we go. So when I was out wandering around too, I found uh, two four leaf clovers. It was uh, pretty cool. One actually out behind the house when I was um, uh, chopping down the trees and I found another one when I was wandering around. So we got three of those now that we can sell. So let's just put this back away in here, put the glass in here. Let's, let's go inside the, well, I'll put some torches up too so we have some light at nighttime. Don't really need the light here, but that's, I mean, it's fine. So we're going to put, I think we're going to just put the pipe weed down this side. I think what I'll do, that's five. So um, I was thinking that I wasn't going to make all the pipe weed into um, um, seeds, but I think I'm actually going to do that. I got 12 more inside that I can bring out. So let's do that. And then we're going to put our flax seeds down at this end, I think. So we'll be getting more seeds as we go along. We'll be planting more stuff. Hopefully I can get some carrots and some potatoes that we can plant. So that's that. And then regular seeds. We're going to throw closer to the front here. Uh, let's grab... Yeah, let's just put them right here for now. And then we'll put our cotton seeds... Uh, we got nine of these guys. Let's just put them here for now. I think that'll do. Nine of those make one wool. And three can make three pieces of string. So I like to keep them at, in that uh, kind of order. Let's grab... Hmm, we still have a bunch. Let's take all the pipe weed out. Flax. I think we just need one more to fill the row up. And let's grab another nine cotton. Yeah, let's go that route. So pipe weed. We can't plant the athelus, unfortunately, which would it would have been nice if we could, but those are specific. The same as the thistles. There's specific things that you actually need to uh, find in the world to be able to use. So let's finish this up here. And this will all be pipe weed all the way along here. And then we got two more for here, and then nine more of this. So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine sure why not it's kind of weird looking but it's fine we are going to need more seeds eventually so yeah i think i'm going to end the episode here um it took me a lot longer than i thought it would to uh, actually build this thing um but now it's going we've got the pipe weed growing and stuff um and we're going to figure out i guess what i'm going to do with all this stuff here i don't know what i want to do with these if we're going to make pies and stuff for the hobbits, we're definitely going to need the fruit. So it's good to keep these around. Uh, plus, I think some of the quests, they'll be asking for this. Oh yeah, we need to plant our ender lily seeds too. Uh, we don't really need to plant these here because ender pearls have limited use here. But we've got five, so let's put them here. we got to uh, until this, so... I'm going to put them along this window here. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. All right. So, I mean, we can make a watering can too at some point. Ooh, the oddment collector is nearby. Uh, I wonder if he will take... I've been collecting these things. Conkers, you can throw them. Uh, I think he like collects like rotten flesh and conkers and other stuff. So let's go see if we can find him here. So that's the Galadrium guy that came by a little while ago. We can't actually trade anything with him because you need to have rep with the Galadrium uh, or Galadrim before you get a chance to be able to trade with them. What do you want? Chestnut wood. Oh, do I want to trade? Yeah, we need to get our rep up with them. So I got chestnut wood to burn right now. We can take a look at this from up here too. I don't see the augment collector anywhere over... Oh, there he is right there. Let's go talk to him first and then we'll come back and have... Oh no, that's a bounder. Oh, it's not him then. He usually wears a hat with a feather in it, so that's why I thought it was him. So, yeah, there it is there. It's really hard to see from up here. I have to maybe chop this tree down eventually, but... Three cakes, not right now, buddy. So, yeah, there it is there. Looking okay. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but it'll do for what we want to use it for. Um, 
And I like to make things nice is you know within reason. I mean you don't have to go crazy with it, but it's more of a modern design too. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping it would turn out more Shire-like, but I, I think it's really the windows that make it look like that and the angles. But um, you know it's better to make it kind of look nice. So let's see if we can find that oddment collector. Is this him down here? Here we go. Let's see what he wants to trade here. Sometimes you get good stuff. Let's trade with him. Uh, so he wants Shire Heather and Suspicious Meat. Yeah, no thanks. But he's got Blue Dwarven Steel ingots, Copper ingots. Um, oh, this is what we can buy from him. Shire Heather. This is what we can sell. I think we can just drop all of this in here. Get rid of the conquerors for 26 silver. You can do that. Now, Shar Heather. Don't know what we need this for. Um, I know there's like recipes and stuff that actually does use this. So let's buy a few of them anyway. So we'll have them on hand. We're going to be picking them up as we wander around too. I just haven't seen any yet. So at some point we'll have more. But I want to have some on me in case somebody asks for it. And of course now it's raining. Alright, so we're going to end the episode and I hope you like it. If you did, please feel free to drop a like. Actually, we're going to end it as soon as we turn in the chestnut wood. But if you like the episode, please feel free to drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I don't really release that many um, uh, videos for um, Minecraft that often. I try, I'm try. Right now I've been doing it once a week. I'm going to try and do it more. Yeah, there's our three uh, four-leaf clovers now. Uh, I'm going to try and do it more than once a week. So do we have 21? We actually have absolutely just 21. I'm going to try and do it more than once a week now. I'm going to try and get it up at least twice a week. Uh, but I can't guarantee that. My Rogue Tech campaign right now is taking up a lot of my time. There we go. Oh, she gave us a pouch too. A medium pouch. Nice. Let's take the coins out. Excellent. Because we're in dire need of more pouches. Nice. So we'll be able to keep that on us. Alright, so, um, yeah, so like I said, um, I've got my Rogue Tech campaigns right now, I'm doing two episodes a day. So that's taking up a lot of my time. Um, I had a little bit of free time today, which is why I decided to do some more Minecraft. But, um, yeah, so hopefully we'll be doing more than, uh, let's actually move these conquerors out of here. Um, doing more than one episode a week, um, hoping that that should be no problem, but we'll find out. Uh, but until next time, I'll, uh, See you later.